20 to 17 is the final score here today in Memphis, Tennessee at the AutoZone Liberty Bowl as the Kansas State Wildcats fall to the Navy Midshipmen. From GoPowerCat.com, I'm Riley Gates, and this is your post-game press pass brought to you by our friends in Manhattan at Robbins Motor Company. And Kansas State's offense came into this game feeling good about itself, but Navy shut down the Wildcats every time that they had the ball. K-State in the second half wasn't even over 100 yards offensively. They ended over 100 yards thanks to a nice possession there in the fourth quarter. But overall, K-State's offense was ineffective. Doesn't get in the end zone until the fourth quarter when Skylar Thompson maneuvered a drive down the field, hitting Wyking Gill on a few big passes. The offense made plays late in the game, but overall it was a disappointing performance for the Wildcats offense. Well, they did a nice job of, of blitzing and then showing a blitz and getting out of blitz when Skyler would check. They did. A, they had a nice game plan. Let's let's give those guys credit. Um, uh, you know, you're right. We had some opportunities early to make some plays and and, and we didn't make the plays. And um, that that's that goes. Same thing on the other side of the ball. We had a couple times we could have tackled Malcolm Perry for a four-yard gain, and he breaks it and gets 15. You know, so uh, that's guys having the ability to make plays, and and so um, you give them credit. We just weren't executing. I feel like. Uh, just like messing stuff up. I dropped a pass, wide open touchdown. So just things like that was hurting us. Yeah, I was a little surprised, especially because it seemed like it was working early. You know, I know the first drive, uh, we we gashed them a little bit here and there. So I kind of thought it was going to be that right the way the rest of the way. But you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. So you got to be able to adjust. Um, but yeah, it's always hard for this offense, and we can't get the ball uh, going on the ground. It was different, and they did have us have us out of rhythm, and it's. It's just, it's hard. It was hard because, you know, they were, they were, they did a great job. Hats off to them. Uh, they did a, had a good game plan for us. Uh, we knew that they were a high pressure team. Um, but they did a good job of mixing up their looks, showing it from one way and coming from the other way and playing some different looks behind it that, um, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting. Um, and, you know, that just kind of, kind of got us off rhythm. We kind of missed some plays there the first drive. I missed a throw. Uh, we had a drop ball. I mean, there's some plays that we left out there. All of us did, you know, not pointing fingers at, at one, one single person at all. Like it's a, it's a team effort, and we all could have made made a play that could have made a difference in the game. One of the biggest topics for the last month was how the K-State defense was going to be able to defend Malcolm Perry and the Navy triple option offense. And the Wildcats did a pretty good job in the first half, holding the Navy midshipmen under 100 yards rushing. But as the second half went on, Malcolm Perry broke a few big plays, and Navy got going, finding success in that triple option. Chris Kleiman said he was pretty pleased with how the defense played, but there's no question that the triple option eventually wore down the Wildcats. He's a great college player, and you know he makes them go and and we had assignment sound football I, i'll be honest with you i thought our defense played really well uh and you know if you'd ask ken if, if two of the plays they were going to score on it'd be trick plays or basically score on i think he'd have been surprised too uh but I, i'll tell you what our guys played their tails off on defense and uh, uh that, that's a team that's putting up 50 on everybody uh and we held them to 20 and, and gave up a couple of plays i mean first off i mean He's a great athlete, so you got to hats off to him. But um, yeah, he's quick, fast. Like I always say, he runs their whole offense. So I mean, it was a couple of plays that you know what I'm saying that were the turning point in the game. That like the reverse, um, him running um, that long run he got it uh, towards the beginning of the game. But yeah, like I always said, man, he he's he's the leader of their offense. He. Everything runs through them, so I mean, hats off to him. I thought they did a great job of uh, just keeping us, you know, off balance. And I think that coming into the game, as most teams did, preparing against them, just you know, preparing on the run. And I think that they passed the ball more than probably they had all season, maybe even combined. So I thought they just did a great job uh, scheming us. We practiced hard, so it wasn't a lack of preparation. It wasn't a lack of effort. I think guys were tuned into the game before as much as ever. And so hats off to Navy. They just did a great job of coming out and executing. The loss to Navy ends the first year under head coach Chris Kleiman and the Wildcats finish at eight and five overall. And while it's a tough pill to swallow going into the offseason, knowing that they lost their last game, the Wildcats feel good about what they have coming back for the 2020 season. And they feel very optimistic about what the future looks like under Kleiman. I think we formed a great identity, you know, and I think we know who we can lean on and uh, how, how we're going to go about things, being a physical offense. And um, we establish our run, and we also have a very efficient pass game. Uh, and I think, personally, I, that's, that's going to that's gonna mold to something great. I'm so proud of this group for sticking together. Um, I love Coach Kleiman and how he embraced all of us and how we, in turn, embraced them and how we've kind of set the foundation now for this program moving forward. And like you said, I'm really excited for everything moving forward because, I mean, they got a bright future ahead. we got a lot of young guys uh, that are going to come back and, and, and help us out next year. And, 
you know, and a, a loss like this can can really, you know, set us up and, um, you know, we'll be sitting in our stomach for the next eight months. And, you know, I'm going to do my best to, to lead and to improve my leadership as much as I can and improve my game as much as I can. Um, and like I said, I'm very fortunate to have another year to come back and, and play this game for one, one, one more year. And I'm going to give it everything I have. And I promise you that, you know, this time next year I will have no regrets. And I'm already looking forward to getting back, getting back to it. One more time here today from the Liberty Bull, Navy 20, Kansas State 17. The Wildcats finished the 2019 season at 8-5 and five overall in Chris Kleiman's first year as head coach of the Wildcats. Thank you to Robbins Motor Company for sponsoring the postgame and pregame press passes throughout the season at GoPowerCat.com. And thank you for watching and reading our content all football season. Be sure to stay locked in as we continue to cover the Wildcats.